hey how's it going so today we're going to go into the basics of social media the do's and don'ts of social media in 2020 if you are wondering sometimes you know should I do this should I do that should I like why should I do this why not that's what we're going to talk about today I've been doing this for a long time and I've got lots of things that I've done over the years the mistakes I've made some good things some not so good things so we're going to talk about that and I'm going to show you some of the stuff so that you can do the right do's and avoid the wrong the don'ts <laughs> in 2020 on social media all right but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So what are the do's and don'ts of social media? So let me just share with you because I've been doing simple online strategies, Course Income Secrets for a long, long time. Let me just share with you this, my screen here and show you a little bit of some of these tips. So let's just do that all right so there so this is the beginning of course income secrets and some of the tips we're going to kind of go through some of these and we explain them and tell you why it's a do why it's a don't and uh, but before we go that I want you to know if you're listening to the audio make sure you go to cis two five two six six cis two six six com cis two six six dot j s g a g n o n dot com to go check out the video and the blog post so what is it that you should be doing or should not be doing on social media as you can see right here I got a lot of episodes and even if I maybe if I even go back let's go back even in time further into one of the other um courses I guess it's so what I've been using the platform I create this platform right to to create to host my own content so I can kind of show you or keep track of things and then you can uh, take a look at the, some of these oh it's actually not on this site let me just go back here to courses and let me just go to the actual uh simple online strategies this where is it simple where's the full one there it is right here so this one here uh actually that's not what I want to do I want to go on it and then I want to go to the site where it's actually hosted and yes new income it's got to be an incognito because otherwise it, I won't be able to log in and log in here well actually I don't I probably don't need to right let's go to the courses and well yeah let, I don't even need to go here I don't even need to go here so let's just look at this so uh oh maybe I do maybe I do because I need to add it and have it in my okay let's actually let's do that hold on sorry about that so I'm going to actually add this to my own uh, lessons uh, my own uh, courses I'm going to log in here I'm going to create and you by the way you go right ahead and steal this coupon and add this to your uh, but what I'm going to do right here I'm going to log in here and I'm going to go to my courses well they're right here anyways and this course which is simple online strategies I'm actually going to create a coupon that you can use right now if you want to get this for free so if you are watching this uh, you can actually use this coupon the coupon free and because you know it really isn't something uh, the reason why oh that's interesting all of a sudden I'm not logged in anymore let me see it's maybe because the incognito window isn't letting isn't saving credentials or something I'm not really sure it's uh, maybe it's a um, maybe it's a um, yeah it looks like I'm not logged in even though I did log in okay let's do that then over here let's uh, go to this on to this tab oh that's that's good okay so now if I go to my courses sorry about that I'm just uh setting this up I didn't realize it would be there's this one here and let's create a coupon manage coupon so I'm going to create a free coupon make it zero dollars and 
oh what is going on this is not good doing something live and I'm getting this weird behavior this is really weird it's not even remembering my login why is this not working ah well that is not a good a good sign okay anyway so if I if I just go through this okay so like I'm saying the simple online the simple online strategies the social media you know tips the do's and don'ts for 2020 what are they right what are the things you should be doing like there here's a couple things right just do something <laughs> just take action right uh tell stories do it every day uh give what you want don't spam so that's a good one don't spam if you're on social media and you're promoting a product or you're in a business you're an on online business right you don't want to be posting links to your product or posting links to your company <laughs> this is the same thing over here when we got don't post company or product name <coughs> the reason is because you don't want people to go and look up your company you don't want them to go and look up your product because they're just going to find a bunch of negative on it and even if they don't even if they find positives and they're like oh this is great I'm actually that's interesting to me they're not they're not they might find somebody else instead of you that has more experience and you don't want that you want them to connect with you right so don't post company names have conversations instead and have you know uh build rapport with people so you gotta have conversations got have conversations you know social media is no different than the real world in the real world you would have conversations with people you wouldn't just start you know verbal giving verbal diarrhea about your product about your company <laughs> and when you meet them on the street or when you meet them at a, at a, at a, at a dance or community you know barbecue or whatever right you wouldn't just start oh, this is my company oh my god I'm so excited I want to I want you to help I want you to join me I'm gonna help you become a millionaire then 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 right you wouldn't do that and if you do <laughs> if you do you're gonna have the same experience I had when I was kind of like excited about my stuff and telling everybody about it I had I had like a flyer of the product right on my desk at work and I had all these different things and <laughs> it's, it's like people were like uh annoyed that I was just talking about that right and so that didn't work out that didn't work out at all so it won't work out on social media either people will not want to connect with somebody who is constantly telling them about their product so don't post your company name don't spam okay so don't quit is a really good one make sure you just be persistent be consistent keep going go 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 right so I mean this is these are all the episodes I did for simple online strategies there's 260 of them there's literally look at that there's this these are all little tips that you can use to do social media so okay so set up a blog you know remember your audience make it a habit go to events take it one day at a time have some fun reply to every comment learn by doing uh no links say something uh, learn the 80 20 rule do as you the big audience uh, stop talking and start doing implement what you learn at events connect with friends look at the bright side push through the fear get them to know you get them to like you get them to trust you so that's one of the things right no like trust you got to have people to know like and trust you you got to have them you know connect with you um what else uh, don't just read apply it's not easy but it can be simple address one person create engagement do it like grandpa do it like grandpa yes I remember that one that was about you know how in the 1900s how they would have conversations with people you know your grandfather if he was a a, 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 a people person if he was somebody who you know people connected with engaged with he would be the one that everybody would talk to right so why is that right because back then people would gravitate to those who were asking questions who were trying to get to know you right I mean in in the community meetings or the 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 weekly the the, the monthly 
or whatever it was you know that they had back then where everybody would get together and they would they would have a conversation the person that was the most like the most liked was the person who asked questions about others who cared to know what was going on there in other people's lives right so that's that's how grandpa used to do it right and there's there's more stuff in this uh, short little video but uh, yeah keep your eyes on the ball play around a little it's not easy but it can be simple don't just read a block here right now. Uh, get rid of entitlement mindset edify others learn to be public that's one big thing on social media you have to be public you can't be posting and having your post like let's just show you like on Facebook for example if I go to Facebook right and I'm posting on Facebook I should have my post pop up now I know some people are like well I got private stuff and I, I there's stuff I don't want my the, about my family I don't want people to know well don't post it on social media or 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 have two separate accounts or something I I don't know for me it's like but I mean that's me right if it's being posted on social media well it's public no matter how much you try to make it not public right um there's the moose the moose in Montreal I had two years ago right but anyway so what I was saying is that when you post if you start your post right here right hey how's it going doing my episode episode number what is it 266 is it let's just uh, go back here 266 my episode number 266 all about do I have a combined buffer I do so join posting this posting this live during the recording let me know if you so what are you up to today okay so I mean this is just a post I'm posting a post right and the thing is that whenever you're posting you can change the default is you're going to have this like this right it'll be friends right this is the default posting on Facebook whenever you post anything the default is just set the friends and that's how Facebook was first set up but if you're in business you want to make this public you want to post publicly you want to make your post visible to everybody because if you're posting if you're trying to get people to connect with you to know like and trust you if they can't see your stuff how do you expect them to know to to figure out whether they like you or not they got to be able to know you and to know you they have to have the your posts have to be public or you have to be friends why would somebody want to be friends with you if they don't know anything about you right now that's the idea what Facebook originally was all about connecting with people you already know that was the idea of Facebook now it's it's grown into a lot more especially if you're not an online marketer you're not really trying to you're not going to connect with people you already know because there's like you I mean pfft there's how many people you don't know around the world right so anyway so I'm just going to post this like this if I just do this now that's posted it's going to be live in my feed right live on my um on my page right here right here right so it's it's public see this little uh little world thing it says public if I mouse over it shows me public if I look through the list of posts here right this public this is this is public this is public there's going to be a few posts that are friends and let's see if I can find one most of my friends are all marketers right so they all post everything public let me just see if I can find one that's just for friends what it looks like oh so see this one here she posted it right here it says to for to specific people oh that's interesting I guess that that forces the post to show I'm not really sure why you would really want to do that because that seems like a lot of work to 427 people hmm okay uh, I'm not sure but anyways that's uh, okay public 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 there you go here's somebody who posted just to their friends right just to her friends so she posted just to your friends by the way Connie if you're listening to this because I know you follow me I would recommend you change your post to be private to be public I mean just go on your post you, you, if you edit your post well this won't let me do it but 
whenever you're on your own post in your options you can change the um I don't know what it's called distribution maybe let me go look at mine and see what happens if I look at my post did I it's, it's not there anymore if I go to my own page if I go to my own page right <coughs> I can see this post I just did right now if I click on this it's loading up I can say edit audience right here right under edit audience I can change what it was like just like we saw earlier when I actually did the post now one thing to note is that when you change your post whenever you're doing a post and you change it to public that means everything after that is going to be public automatically right <clears throat> so that just means that <coughs> that you don't have to do it every single time you post it'll change it to public when you do that okay so that's that's learn to be public um get started today never ever give up learn to make it simple make a choice and stick with it start where you are have a good profile picture get your head on straight the show must go on just give it to them <clears throat> right so I mean don't post product I had this other one brand your name connect daily engage on everything define your dmo uh, the learning the 80 20 rule you can't be great you can't be great right away you're definitely gonna suck I mean if you look at me when I first posted my um when I first posted my if I go to my YouTube actually I have it right here well actually no let's just go to YouTube and I want to show you my videos if I go to my channel right and then I go to my videos and then I look at my sort by date added now you can do that with anybody's profile if you want to go see how long they've been around if they have a YouTube channel just go to to the sort by right here and change it to date added oldest and it'll show you the first video they posted on their uh on their um you know YouTube channel right so for me I started like four years ago right four years ago it says right here which was actually happy new year 2016 welcome to success what uh, the first tip and then I did a few other tips right but I was awful here let me kind of show you let's just say this one let's say be yourself maybe let's yeah, let's watch that one let's do that make it full screen Welcome to success with JS I'm Jean-Serge Gagnon and this is your financial success tip number one be yourself which is something I have difficulty wasn't doing right now I... <laughs> because this is all new to me too. wasn't I so like crazy how I was rigid and I was uh, anyways I that, but that, that's what I'm saying so you you should not expect to be great right away you're gonna suck I certainly sucked four years ago when I started for for a while it'll be five years in December right now but I sucked right I sucked and you're gonna suck too when you start out so just don't worry about don't feel that you have to be perfect before you start that's why you got to start now right other things you got to do on social media learn to control the conversation what does it mean to control the conversation controlling the conversation is about is about uh you asking questions and getting answers and then asking another question and so you basically you're the one asking the questions that means you're in control of the conversation if you're prospect all of a sudden starts to ask you questions about you and about your business about things like that and they're taking control of the conversation now there's nothing wrong with them asking questions but the thing is that you should you if you're if they're asking you questions if you want to take control of the conversations again that just means that you um, answer the question really quick and ask them another question right so for example if they say uh and if you ask them uh, I don't know let's say you ask them uh, what is it what is your passion right and they say oh well you know I I love to uh, I love to um, uh, go on hikes what about you what do you love to do uh, what's your passion so they turn around they ask you right what's your passion because they, they just told you what theirs is and they ask you what's their what's yours right so then you're going to be like you you sh you could you know start to say oh my god well you know I love hiking too but 
I really love the outdoor the nature I love taking pictures I love I actually love doing online stuff I love I love programming I I love my kids I love my wife I love everything uh, I love driving around and listening to audios I love taking pictures I love so you can go on and on about what you love and what you're passionate about right but that means that they've completely taken over the conversation because they're the ones asking questions you're the one talking right and that's not good it's not good because they're not really interested in all that stuff because they don't really know you yet right and if you get into that that if you fall into that hole of answering their question really long like that you're going to lose them right the only way anybody's interested in that is if they've if they've known you for a long time and they really want to know what you're about right but if they if you're just having a new conversation you want to have control like so when they ask you that oh you know I really love to hike I love hiking what about what about you what's your passion instead of you going blah, 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 blah about everything you just say oh well you know I love hiking and I like taking pictures so what's the last time when was the last time you went hiking where'd you go so that's that's the secret is you really answer the question really quickly because you don't want to get into a whole bunch of stuff and then you ask them another question right away you want to turn back the conversation into you asking them and that you can do that on social media on on texting on social media you can do that and that's one of the things I don't know where that there's definitely that tips in there someplace but if you're on social media you're on Facebook you're going through people's profiles right if I go back to uh home or Facebook if I go back through here right and I'm going through I'm going through Facebook posts right I'm looking at what's on Facebook and I see some see there's another Connie you got to change your profile your post to public you got to change your post to public because the people that the if you have a, a somebody who's seeing this who's seeing you post like because I know Connie you post on other in groups and other things like that if you post in say a group that you're part of everybody that's in the group is going to be able to see that post right but if there's somebody who's not your friend and they want to go check out what else you do and they click on your profile they're not going to be able to see this post for example right they're not going to be able to see this post or any other post you post right because they're not going to be able to see because their posts aren't public they only they, they would have to be your friends before they see this stuff so you want to make sure your posts are public and make sure that you uh you uh you set up your profile like that right and by the way the other thing is if you go to settings under settings right here under settings and privacy there's a place where you can say whether people can comment on your post whether they can share your post whether they can uh, follow you or not all those things they should all enable that that's in some of these other videos I have in here right <clears throat> but uh, where was I going with all this I was talking about learn uh, conversation all oh, right so whenever you're going through the timeline let's say I look at this person here Kim Joy Sabia um I have to find somebody who's not a friend uh otherwise uh yeah because if they're already friends I I won't be able to show you what I'm trying to show you uh this one here is uh, a friend yeah that's a friend Sarah pretty sure that's a friend well actually if I go like say for example to one of my friends right I go to one of my friends and I look through their friends list if they have their friends list public which most people do um see all friends I can go here <clears throat> and this person here Mike right I hope that's I'm pronouncing that right so she's got you know 500 friends right or so or for probably 5,000 or something whatever I don't know does it show how many no I guess not depends uh, by the way how many friends you have and your list of friends and all this stuff is uh, sometimes not uh not shown uh, I guess this person here um actually this is not a good example because she probably doesn't have my friends list let's go to let's go to back to my profile anyways what I'm trying to show you is that if I'm going to let's see actually let's go to groups if I go to a, one of those like spam groups right if I go to one of these spam groups um crypto hub some that that's usually very good uh 14 weeks ago that's not good I want to have something that's been active recently oh 
why is it not showing me the groups in the order of activity right I want to see the stuff that's been access active right like right now a week ago that's RV stuff three weeks ago a year ago five weeks 33 six weeks online success so what about my money groups I got a whole bunch of money groups money groups groups uh groups I'm part of member since January 2500 okay make money online okay here's a group that's a bunch of spam right and I'm going through this group and I'm looking at people on here and I'm saying okay this Angela Watkins she's uh she's got one mutual friend administrator at processing that's probably it but I mean if I look through this and I'm like okay well this person here posted something interesting or whatever right I have no idea but uh, if I go to here and I just go to their profile right Stephen Hart so I look at this I see he's got a dog and he's doing all these posts that have to do with making money doing marketing on LinkedIn trying to market online so he's doing one of the things I definitely say not to do which is posting links and products and things like that for everything right he's just posting a whole bunch of of um um, he's posting a whole bunch of um, links that have to do with affiliate marketing or have to do with the he's basically just posting links for people to click on right and as you can see there's no engagement right he's got he's the only one who's liking his stuff right nobody there's one here somebody else uh Tanya probably click went to his page and clicked uh, five or six likes right but he's posting that's all he's doing he's just posting stuff that has to do with online marketing links and everything that's definitely one thing you should not be doing that's one of the social media don't do's but my point is that if I look at this profile and I want to actually send him a message let's say I wanted to connect with him because I actually liked all the stuff he's posting which by the way right now he's looking like a spammer so I'm not going to connect but I would go like this I would enter a message I would say hey saw your post saw your post in blah 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 right and thought I'd connect thought I'd I'd connect right how old is your dog right so how old is your dog so I would do something like this so that's the engagement part how do you connect with people that you don't know you go to their page their Facebook page and by the way one of the reasons why you might be just seeing these spams is because he might be posting only that publicly and anything else personal or whatever he might be posting friends only so that's why you can't you don't you wouldn't be able to see what he's about right unless he really just does that right so then I would send this message off to him and then I would maybe send I would then maybe say ps sent you friend request right so then I would send the message and I would click on the add friend right here right and then I would I would that's it and that's kind of how you start a conversation with uh, people right so that's one person right here so that's what I was talking about right here in here someplace uh learn to control the conversation right what's the best conversation starter oh that's a good one uh learn to not give a crap right learn to not give a crap you definitely want to not worry about what people think about you because they don't pay your bills who cares what they think about you I know it's not easy sometimes we are so tied into I hope that person doesn't think I'm an idiot or I hope they don't laugh at me or I hope that they don't they don't think I'm wasting my time or I hope they don't they don't tell that I'm an idiot to somebody else or whatever all those things right we have those beliefs those feelings those we just don't want to but I mean I look at this this is all these things are all things and if I go back to say for example my um actually I don't know is that going to be in here uh course income secrets so course income secrets by the way over here um mm -mm. It's not even it's not even publicly here okay interesting okay if I go back to click eCourse which is the main site where we host all this stuff and I go to courses and there's also course income secrets right here uh, 
where is it oh it's not public I thought it was public oh interesting well again I thought it was public my courses this one here can I make this public access <coughs> oh it is public oh okay it's just because it hmm. <coughs> let's put it on all the sites so I didn't realize it wasn't on there all right so uh and then okay anyways I just want to tell you you know one of the things is look at the camera I look at the camera when you're talking and this is one of the things that I find like especially if you're on your phone it seems so like you're recording right and you look at your face right you're looking at see if I had the let's just uh, I guess I can't really but let's just let's just kind of do this here if I have the if I have if I have my well actually right now I've got I'm looking right at the camera right you can see I'm looking right at the camera if I look at my face I'm looking at my face right now on the screen uh you I'm not looking at the camera right right now I'm looking at the camera and even worse if I have two screens and I move this over to the side I'm actually looking at my face right now on the other screen and <laughs> obviously I'm not looking at the camera if I look at the camera even though my screen is over there my face is over there you it yeah you, I'm looking at you right and that's one of the things and if you're on your phone it's not it doesn't look as bad especially if you're if your your camera's at the top here right if your camera's at the top and your face is in in the top part of the screen it's not as bad but if your face is at the bottom of the screen you can certainly tell that you're not looking at the camera right and that's an important thing because you want to connect with the person listening to it now on the other thing the other thing that's super important is use the singular when you're talking you are you're talking to one person don't think of your video as being a video watched by thousands you're hoping it'll be watched by thousands right but it's not watched by thousands at the same time everybody who's watching it is a single person watching it people don't people don't watch your video on their phone and all all sit behind and all watch at the same time right there's only one person that's going to be watching your video at the same time so talk to one person when you're saying when you're saying hey how's it how are you doing don't say hey how's my Facebook fans or how's my LinkedIn connections or how's my YouTube subscribers how are you guys doing today don't do that just talk to one person how are you doing hey did you sleep well last night did you have a good day what's what is on your schedule today right so those are the tips those are the simple social media tips the do's and don'ts things you got to do things you shouldn't do on social media and you can go and you can find all these tips on my on these uh, like I said on Click e course you can find these courses and all these videos all these lessons are all there and uh yeah you can have access to those for free just put the coupon free when you're clicking on the button over here you're going to see well actually right here let's just uh let's just uh let's go back here and I'm going to show you if you go for example to uh course income where is why is it not showing up here am I blind course income secrets is not there course income it is it's right here <laughs> okay so when you go to course income secrets uh actually <clears throat> that's not what I want to do I wanted to go to the uh, incognito window if you go to course income secrets and all you got to do is you got to type in the coupon free and because you're watching this video you can actually go there and click on free and then it's zero dollars with coupon you say add to your library you're gonna have to create an account to do that but it's a free account so you can go and do that and just uh, if you click on this it'll tell you you must uh, log in or register before you can add this course right so you just click on the register and register an account and then you can add it to your to your courses all right so have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share
content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.